I'm Eric George with the Building Performance Group, and today we're out in Bannon's Crossing, which is a, D a Dominion Home neighborhood in Louisville, Kentucky, and we're going to do a pre-drywall inspection on a new Energy Star house that they're building, uh, which is referred to as a thermal bypass check. So I'm going to have you follow me through the house, and we're going to show you what makes a Dominion Home an Energy Star home. The first thing I'm going to look for when I come into the house, I'm looking at the garage wall here, and Dominion actually insulates their homes with a product called Cellulose Wall Spray. And this particular product is a new wool uh, brand product. It's a blown in insulation. It completely fills the cavity. Uh, it's not going to settle or shrink. It's a lot better product than fiberglass bat insulation and it has a higher R value. So it's more effective insulation and this is how they insulate most of their houses. So uh, this install looks really good. Um, if you look up at the ceiling here, what they've got is another application of cellulose, but they've actually hung netting to the underside of the ceiling um, and they've blown the cavities above the garage completely full with cellulose insulation. So instead of just throwing some fiberglass bats up there, they've actually filled those cavities with cellulose. So that's going to keep the room that's above here a lot more warm and consistent over the course of the year. What we're going to do while we walk through the house is I'm going to show you uh, what we do. If we find problems in the house, we're going to mark it with a permanent marker and we're going to take a picture of it so that the superintendent can find the problem and the subcontractor can come back and resolve any issues that we may find. So what I'm looking for is when you're looking at the wall cavities here, you want to make sure that the insulation is completely filling these wall cavities. You don't want to see anything falling out or any kind of compressions around the studs. And you also want to make sure that it gets all the way behind the wood there. So I'm going to check back in there and make sure that it gets in the corners. I'm looking at the caulking that you see here in the exterior corners. They actually caulk every single one of the studs in the house. And you also caulk the bottom plate across the bottom of the floor. So you're actually sealing the bottom plate of the exterior walls to the subfloor itself. And that's actually one of the leakiest points in the house. Up to 27% of all the air leakage in the house can come through that bottom plate. So one, one thing I want to make sure that they do is, is air seal around the window frame itself. Instead of just using a fiberglass insulation, they're using a minimal expansion foam between the window and the frame surrounding the window to air seal the gap around each one of the windows. So I'm going to go through the house and make sure each one of the windows are done just like that. I'm also seeing any penetration that goes from a conditioned space, a living space, into an attic or an unconditioned space, like these wires right here, they have to be foamed or caulked as well. So each one of these wires have been sealed, so that's good for me. So now we're opening into a great room area here, and the insulation in the walls looks great, uh, the air ceiling looks great so far. Behind fireplaces, we have to have an air barrier in front of the insulation. So normally, this whole area back here would not be drywalled. Typically, it would just be exposed fiberglass or cellulose insulation, but for Energy Star standards, this has to be a solid air barrier uh, or a flexible air barrier like the house wrap that you see here. So. Um, this looks really good and at the top where they've got it blocked off they've actually sealed that blocking to the ceiling so this is excellent the only thing that I'm going to ask them to do is where they have the openings in the house wrap here like this right here they need to actually tape that shut so I'm just going to put tape holes and take a picture of it Another thing that I look for whenever I go through a house, an Energy Star house, I'm looking for the window sticker that tells me the performance data on here. And these two numbers right here are the ones that I'm looking for. You have a U factor and you have a solar heat gain coefficient. And for Energy Star standards, this U factor has to be 0.35 or less. And this one's right at 0.35, the solar heat gain's at 0.32. So I'm going to take a picture of it for my records and make a note in the building file. So we're in the master bathroom of the house, and one thing that I'm looking for is behind bathtubs and shower stalls, there has to be an air barrier in front of the insulation behind the bathtub. And what they've got there is house wrap that's been secured to the framing behind the bathtub. So that works for me. That's good. And I'm going to take a picture of that to verify. So what we're looking at right now are cardboard baffle vents. And the purpose of the baffle vents are to uh, protect the soffit from, on the outside from insulation blowing off onto the soffit 
and it also allows for a channel for air to move from outside into the attic for ventilation purposes. Um, what I want to illustrate here is that you have a perforated, uh, perforated cardboard baffle vent that has been secured to either side of the rafters and also a staple that's secured to the top plate. So most of the time this is not installed properly. A lot of times you'll see it just run across the underside of the roof decking or the roof joists and eventually it just blows off. It doesn't stay put. But uh, this insulation company has done a really good job of securing the baffle vents up there so that the insulation is going to stay in place for a long time and it's also going to provide the, uh, the ventilation that's required for the attic space. So we're now we're upstairs in the house and what we're looking at right here is referred to as a knee wall. And a knee wall is any wall that faces an attic space. It could be short, it could be full height, it doesn't really matter. We refer to them as knee walls. All knee walls must have an air barrier facing the attic side. And what Dominion has decided to use is um, house wrap, which is very typical. So this knee wall currently is uninsulated, but what they're going to do after the drywall is hung is the insulation company will come back and actually uh, cut a hole and fill these cavities with cellulose insulation when they blow the attic. Uh, but one thing that we're seeing here on this knee wall is even though the house wrap runs all the way to the top plate, they haven't actually secured the air barrier to the top plate very well right here. So I'm going to ask that the framers come back and secure the air barrier to the top plate all the way across here. And there's also one little electrical hole that got missed. So pretty minor stuff, but we're going to make sure that that gets done properly. Now what we're looking at right here is a return air duct that is actually a uh, wall cavity that uh, the builder is using to move air back to the furnace. And this is very common in Kentucky and in southern Indiana. So what they've done is they've used a thermal pan, which is a, an HVAC installer's uh, product. It's just a flexible panning. And they've installed it to the back side of this wall cavity. You've also got uh, an electrical line that's running through the cavity that they've sealed really well with silicone on both sides so that you don't have air that's being pulled from either side of the of the cavity here. Now the thermal pan itself has also been silicone to the framing. If they didn't do that there would be a lot of really hot or really cold attic air being pulled into this return duct and circulated back down to the furnace uh, from the attic that's on the other side of this wall. So They've done a really good job right here of sealing the, uh, the return cavity. And you see how the, the studs here are painted all green. The drywallers, when they come, the drywallers are going to seal this with a caulk. They're going to actually caulk the drywall to these studs to make sure that it's an airtight cavity. So another good job here. And what you're looking at right here, this is an Energy Star certified bath fan. And it's a Panasonic model that's whisper quiet. The reason why they install these bath fans is because they air seal their houses and insulate their houses really well so they're really airtight and when you have moisture in a house in an airtight house it's harder for that moisture to evaporate and to leave the building itself so these bath fans are actually set to run a certain amount of time per hour uh, continuously so it's called mechanical ventilation and it's a very effective way for them to move the moisture out of the house uh, especially when it's really tight so Every one of their houses comes with one of these, and it's an Energy Star requirement starting in January. So now we're downstairs in the bonus room, and we found one window down in the basement that actually has not been foamed or caulked. So what we've done is we've marked the window, I've taken a picture of the window, and I'll call the superintendent to make sure that the insulation guy comes back and foams all the way around the perimeter of this window, because the last thing we want is a leaky window in a new home. So we're done with the uh, thermal bypass inspection on this house and we've got a checklist that has to be filled out and it's called the thermal enclosure Raider checklist and literally we're going through and verifying all the things that we can verify and like the window and the knee walls that need to be corrected those are things that the builder are going to verify so we we check builder verified in any of those places and as long as there's not more than uh, eight checks that the builder has to verify we're good to go and we can move forward with the energy star process so I only see one two three four things that the builder needs to verify, so we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hang up the Energy Star sign and move on to our next job.